The UK's top court must decide if the Prime Minister and his government broke the law and misled the Queen. We have before us two appeals, one from England and Wales and one from Scotland. That this is a serious and difficult question of law is amply demonstrated by the fact that three senior judges in Scotland have reached a different conclusion from three senior judges in England and Wales. Boris Johnson sent lawmakers home from September 9th until October 14th, barely two weeks before the scheduled Brexit deadline of October 31st. He argues that the suspension is to allow his government to launch its domestic agenda with a new session of Parliament. Supporters of the legal challenges include a mixture of opposition lawmakers and anti-Brexit campaigners like Gina Miller. She's known for mounting the successful legal challenge over the government's authority to leave the EU without a parliamentary vote. Those behind the challenges say Boris Johnson purposely tried to prevent MPs from challenging his plan to meet the EU's Brexit deadline with or without a deal. The executive to use a prerogative power to seek to evade control by Parliament stands the basic principles of constitutional law on their head. A judgment is expected later this week or early next week. If the government wins, lawmakers will remain away from Parliament until October 14th. If it loses, the judges could order them back to their seats.